Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing some work in my one little binder today and I'm going to be putting together my February layout. Um, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, you can go ahead and check those out. They are There's a full playlist down below for you if you're interested. So what I've decided to do each month is I'm going to take a photo of myself and then put that in there it's just so I can kind of have a the documentation of what I look like throughout the year. Um, I thought that would be kind of fun. And then I'm also going to put in a currently list. Now, the February uh, little journal card that I used was from L Studios, as well as this currently. I'm fairly certain that they don't have these currently journaling cards anymore. Um, I wish they did, but I don't think they do. And then the little the February journaling card that I had had a calendar on it, but it was from 2002 and I never used them. So I'm like, instead of wasting them, I'll go ahead and use them in this project. And then I just made the picture a two and a half by two and a half square photo and it fits perfectly in that spot and it kind of and it covers up the calendar. So as you can see, I'm writing out my currently there. If you want to go ahead and pause it and read what those are. It's perfectly fine. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and read you the prompt for February um, so that it'll kind of help you understand what I'm going to be doing in the rest of the video. So the prompt for February, and, and this isn't necessarily in order of what like Allie Edwards is doing. And if you don't know what one little word is, it's a project that Allie Edwards came up with and thought of. And she has a class and you can, you know, follow her prompts and all that stuff. I'm using her prompts from a uh, downloadable digital that I bought from her. So this one is from the heart. And I thought, you know, February, cute from the heart. What is on your heart right now related to your word? Write it out. It might be super happy and it might be really complicated. Think about combining both facts and feelings related to your connection to your word. So that's exactly what I ended up doing. <laughs> I wrote, I have these journaling cards that I have. They are little to-do list cards that you can see that I covered up with a sticker. Um, and I'm just using, I'm typing out or uh, using letter stickers to write out the word feelings. And then I'm going to be writing some of my feelings down. Um, and as I go through, I'll kind of read you what I'm feeling. Um, and a lot of this has to do with some of the things that I've been doing in my other projects, like my goal planner and my happy planner and like, even like my scrappy, um, scrap, scrappy notebook is what I'm calling it. And so a lot of that has to do with all of those things that I've been doing in those particular projects. Um, so right now I'm feeling very accomplished and very motivated. So some of the things I wrote down was accomplished, proud, a little overwhelmed, happy, and enjoyment. So I'm getting a lot of enjoyment out of the things I'm doing. Motivated, encouraged, and discouraged, <laughs> and engaged. So as you may know, may or may not know, my word for the year is engage. So that is really what the point of kind of getting all these doing all these projects and crafting and is really engaging in life and engaging in um, some of the goals that I want out of my life. Um, so that's what this project is all about. So I wrote out my feelings there and what I decided to do was pull a couple of stickers from these journaling books. They're from the Mambi and it's like journaling. I think they're called journaling. Yeah, they're like journaling stickers. And I just decided to go ahead and pull out some of those hearts. On in a, Right now, as it stands, pretty much everything that is in this binder is black and white. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep it that way. Kind of going forward, I'm going to do mainly black and white. There might be a little touches of color here and there, but mainly it's going to be the black and white themes. So I, um, then I put in some facts. So as I was going through this, it was really difficult for me to um, kind of distinguish between like facts and feelings. And so um, I talked it over with um, one of my very good friends. And as we were talking through it, some of the things that we had talked about is that it's, it's a fact that I'm going to get discouraged. Like, 
that's definitely going to happen. You're not going to always feel motivated. You're not going to always feel like doing the things you're going to want to do. Um, the other thing we talked about is something that I learned through counseling is that we, we have a leech. Like we have something in us. Everybody has something in us. It's like always wants instant gratification, right? And so we talked about that and that's a fact. That's just, that's just the way that humans were made. And then also kind of talking about how um, strawberry moments. So I love that term. Um, I'm, I love strawberries. And that's a term that's used in psychiatry about how you, you have moments in your life that you're so invested and so engaged in that, op- that thing that um, it's literally all you can think about and kind of you're absorbed by it. Um, and that's a strawberry moment. And those are things that are really real. So that's some of the things that I wrote down um, in my facts and then, you know, based on my feelings. So that's basically what the prompt is. And then I did do a little bit of journaling that I'll show you here in a second. What I'm working on right now is going through my January highlights. And you can see there that I pulled in my happy planner um, in last Wednesday, I did that layout in my happy planner where I put all of my pictures for the, for the month on my happy planner. So I'm really loving doing that. It's what February, what is it? I think it's the, what is it? The 15th today. And I'm still going strong. I've taken a picture every single day that kind of signifies the, um, the, uh, what I've done, you know, through to, through that day, something that kind of stood stands out as something that I did on that day, and um, so basically, what I'm doing in this binder, I decided that I want to keep a highlights list. So every month, and I'm going to go look back at the Febu- the the previous month and kind of just highlight eight different things that happened during that month, and so that's what I was doing. Now I did decide that I was going to type up my journaling. I typed up my journaling in my phone. Um, so then I printed it out. I was going to end up writing it on that little piece of paper that you see there with the lines. But then when I am like, why am I doing that? I could just, I already have it printed out right here. I'll just use that in, um, in my, on my thing. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just taking the piece of paper and I'm going to go ahead and glue it to this little piece of cardstock that I cut to match the little, um, the highlights page will actually go behind this. So, and then I'm going to just, again, just add some color, just to add something to it. I have this really cute washi tape that has little pretend stitches on it. So I just decided to go around the whole border with the, this washi tape and, um, just to kind of add a border to the, uh, to the journaling. So I'm literally just not even cutting it. I'm just going to go ahead and stick it to the back. And then I think I cut the sides off. Um, and that's what I'm basically going to do. Um, obviously if you really want to read the journaling, you can pause it if you want. I mean, it's kind of personal, but (laughs) whatever. Um, (laughs) and, um, I, you know, honestly, I don't even know what it says. I should probably read it before I do this just to make sure I want that on the internet. But, um, yeah, so that is basically all I'm doing. I mean, really I've made this binder so uncomplicated. Um, but really it is really helping me kind of think through things and really, um, I'm, I do most of it on my phone. Like I made my list on my phone and then throughout the month, I kind of just add things as I, as I think through them. Um, so I have like an engaged note, note on my phone and then I write the journaling and I write my lists and I take my picture and all that stuff. So it's really been a good experience and um, I'm happy that February is done and looking forward to continuing this project throughout the year. So I'm kind of showing you an in what the end product looks like. And again, if you haven't seen the setup of this, I do have a setup video that you can go check out and, and that is that quickly. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you again next time. Bye for now.